So in this video, we're gonna check out our Airbnb, visit the Mystico Swinging Bridges, drive to Rio Celeste, find a free hot spring, and El Salto. Let's get to it. It's one of these. Very nice. Check this one out. Nice. Whoa. Look at the wiring on that. I've never liked the idea of being drenched in water and there's electricity wires right over top of me. The shower head is what heats the water. We got over here, the place where laundry used to be. Oh, you can see the volcano today. So we're going to the mystic swinging, hanging bridges or something. I'm not much into the tourist excursions and everything, but I would hate to come to Costa Rica and not do it. It's like $60 for all of us. Gosh, that volcano is massive. You can see it from like everywhere in La Fortuna. We're passing by all these fancy resorts, but we're staying in a local neighborhood where the price is $45 a night, so a different experience. Yeah. There's going to be maps and signs everywhere, so you won't get lost. <laughs> This bridge seems a little uneventful. Maybe they're gonna warm us up. That's the first one. <laughs> I don't know if that counts. I don't know if that counts, Jeff. Wow, it swings and you are high up. The hanging bridge is pretty intense. I did not expect that. You can feel the vibrations and the swings. And sometimes it's all you can do to hold on. It really makes you feel funny. It's so far up. So the map says there's 10 regular bridges and six hanging bridges. We just saw the one. This is the last bridge. If I could do it all over again, I'd do it. It's touristy, but it's kind of cool. When you get up here on these bridges, like it is neat. Try to separate from the crowd. The first one that we went on, like there were so many people on it, and I think that was the more nervous I was. But now, look, Jack's, Jack's dancing on the bridge. Final thoughts? Yeah, I'd come back. We're on our way to Rio Celeste. It's supposed to be this beautiful blue waterfall that's something out of a movie. Depending on who you talk to, they say you need a four-wheel drive, you don't need a four-wheel drive. We're gonna try to drive there from La Fortuna. We're gonna take 142 to four and hopefully arrive at the waterfall nice and easy. Santa Teresa's kinda got me a little shook. 
Okay, so we made it, and I'm really thrilled about that. So my thoughts on, on driving to Rio Celeste from La Fortuna. It's not a heavy trafficked road like Santa Teresa. Hola. Buenos días. Buenos días. Dos y un niño. Sí. So online it says the hike is about an hour in and an hour out. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good. Best I've ever felt. Wow, look at that. That is the bluest water I have ever seen. Rio Celeste. Where God dipped his paintbrush after he painted the sky. It's incredible. I think it's the most beautiful waterfall I've ever seen. That's the way back. Straight up. Nothing but steps. I read online it's 250. The rest of the hike after the waterfalls has a lookout point, a blue lagoon. Blue lagoon smells like sulfur. It's pretty but it smells like rotten eggs. A couple of bridge crossings. Do you see this water? Antenadero, which is probably not the right way to say that, but it's the point at which the water turns blue. You can see the clear water coming in and then turning blue as it mixes with the minerals. This is neat. There's no swimming, none of that's allowed. But if you drive down to the bridge on the way to the park, there's a place that you can park your car and you can get out and enjoy the water. They didn't charge me for parking here, but the guy that helped me park was selling coconuts, so I picked one up. Yeah, so it's literally right under the bridge and you can walk all the way up through here and swim in the pool. Oh, it's cold. Okay, so there are hot springs all over La Fortuna. Most of them are these big resorts where you can go and you can, you know, bathe in luxury and stuff. But we've heard from a few locals that there's a free spot you can go to. We're gonna go check it out. You just keep walking the path and you go on down and it's not as crowded. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a lot of people here today. So it's not burning hot, but it's more like a nice warm bath. We're gonna walk down here to El Salto, which is a, a rope swing. It's about a 15 minute walk from our Airbnb. It's right off 707. Oh, this is scary. So, you can't go to a rope swing and not jump in. If you see any of these in the store in the States, you should buy them. There are 10 right hang Heights really ain't my jam. I'm dying to know why in reverse. Woo! <laughs> like a coaster ride. <laughs> These hills are something. You, you're, you're worried you were going to get up it if you didn't have momentum, huh? See, look, that car even made it. We cannot use this countertop right here. See that? That is ant zone. But things on the stool appear to be a little bit safer. It's everything I wanted it to be. 
This is like the Great Wall of China. <laughs> <laughs> the river's pretty deep, so you gotta make sure you can swim real well. Real well. It's broke. Pro tip. Last bridge takes you out of the park. So, if you want to double how many swinging bridges you get, just short circuit back to the main trail, skip the last one and go back to one and walk it again. This is the largest fig tree I've ever seen in my life. I can't even see the top. I'm afraid I'm gonna drop the camera sometimes. It looks like it's bubbling up. Like maybe that's a hot, hot water. Man, I wanna touch it. Of course I gotta come back and get the camera. <laughs>